it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be back on MAFM V2 in good old FS13. So I've gotten everything fired up, lights are on, combines running, so we're all good to go. Um, so we're going to continue on this straw here, try and get this stuff done. Because uh, there <coughs> is a lot of it. Uh, so I'm recording this video on Saturday because um, at the time that you're watching this on Sunday, I will be out of town at my cousin's graduation. Uh, actually, cousin and friend. Uh, so I will be out of town. And so recording a day ahead, which is always okay recording some video before I go to work here in a couple hours turn around and get this little spot there Also got to kind of pay attention to the combine to see when he's going back uh, up the field so that way we can unload it. He's working his way down right now. Hopefully he's got enough space to uh, get to the end and turn around should it'll probably be close what we should actually do is uh, jump over here and get ready That way, as soon as it's turned around, as soon as the combine gets uh, whipped around, we can start unloading it. Yeah, he's going to be about 90% by the time he hits the end. My cap's locked. There we go, now we're back. Back at it. We still got a lot of sunflower to go. We're gonna be doing harvest videos for quite a while, I think. <coughs> hopefully we make a lot of money though it'll be worth it we can hopefully upgrade some hopefully upgrade our harvest equipment as well as our tillage and planting well I guess uh, tillage is just buying a cultivator and then buying a corn planter I'll have to do some pricing of things here and just kind of see uh, how things would 
you know, how much money we'd need to have. Because I believe we still have a loan taken out as well. Unless I paid it off. I don't remember if I did or not. Okay, that guy can run free now. We'll go ahead and unload this. Actually, we'll have while it unloads, we'll run into the store. We'll basically, just hit the button for the store. But did I turn the truck lights on? Hmm, I must not have. So we're gonna go with a modded combine, of course. So first, we need to find a cultivator. So let's figure out how much our cultivator and our planter will be. So I'm thinking of probably getting probably the Case IH 330 True Tandem. Um. So we'll just write disc if this dumb pen would work 51 792 so we could buy that right now with the money that we have so then for a corn planter we probably want to get we got New Holland we got John Deere suppose we probably go with the case or nah, we could go with the new Holland that fit our uh, Cummins a little bit better. So that's 160,000. So that would take everything that we have right now to buy. Um, so we go back to harvesters. I think maybe we'd go with like a 590 or. Yeah, like the 590R. So, 187.9. So then the uh, grain head is 42. 560 corn head is 38.7 and then 7,000 for our duels so in all we're gonna need We're going to need $487,952. That's how much it's going to cost to buy all of that. So, it's going to take a lot of money. Uh, let's see if we have a loan. Yeah, we do. We still have $500,000 in a loan. So, it's going to be kind of a tricky deal, I think. We'll have to see. Maybe we'll have to just stick with this combine for one more season. We'll just... It'll all depend on how much money we got at the end of the season, I guess. It's really going to depend. Because, like, right now, let's check prices. So, sunflowers, 1,003. 1,253, that's a good price. 12.53 for sunflowers. Oats, 6.32. I missed what that one said. 6.56 at Quaker Oats. Sorghum. We got 7.99. 8.34 for sorghum. 8.42. So, 
We might get some good prices. Uh, we got a fair amount of storage, so... I mean, after this next semi-load of sunflower, we'll have... We'll be over that 100,000 mark for that, so... I mean, we'll be... We'll be sitting pretty well. I just hope that we can uh, do all the things that we want to do. Or that I want to do, whatever. I just hope that it, everything that I want to buy will be possible. And we do have the milk as well that you know will sell. It should sell in about two hours and six minutes. Now what do we got for milk? I mean, we'll have maybe 1,200 liters, so I mean, it's not going to be a super huge amount, but it's also not going to be, you know, some, you know, a couple hundred liters. Okay, so then we can, uh, we can just leave this up at this end, and then we'll jump over to the forage wagon again all right so now we can get back to this this fun stuff Luckily, we don't have a whole, like, huge ton to go. Oops, I'm kind of missing. But, I mean, we do still have quite a bit. Definitely wish there was a bit faster. You know, like we could go a little bit faster. But of course it does not work that way. Hopefully the sorghum provides a pretty awesome yield. Okay, so I'm just going to pick these little bits up to try and fill this trailer. It's because I don't want to, like, start on a windrow and get, like, nowhere on it. There we go. Now we're full. And this thing doesn't, like, automatically shut off either, so that, like, doesn't help me any. always got to be watching either the fill level or the uh, the windrow to see if it's still picking up ah of course we're not lined up this thing does not like turning doing for time here. We're halfway. All right. get this down to the next windrow here and then uh, jump over to the green cart get ready to unload the combine again
It says cruise control 2, but it's not doing anything. It just skips. Tractor's definitely uh, getting a workout. Eleven and a half hours on it already. Which, as I've said before, in game is a lot. In real life, phew, that's barely broke in. In fact, that's not even broke in. But in farm sim, that's a lot. <laughs> as soon as the auger went in, auger came out. Fill the grain cart, or run and unload, unload it, and then try and get back to the combine before he hits the other end. So that way we can just make sure he's going to make it. Because he's going to fill up quite a ways, because normally we're a little bit farther down the field, so. I think. But. Alright, 79% full, so if we can get half a grain cart, that'll fill that truck up. Let's try and make it down here. Slow down, Combine, slow down. I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> Just kinda go like this. <sighs> that way he stops. I don't think that this is going to be enough to fill the truck, but I guess if the truck's like close to full, that's good enough. I mean, like I wouldn't drive it the way it is right now. You know, it's only being a little under, you know, just under 80%. I'll d I'd rather dump this in there than take it.
Yeah, I didn't turn the lights on on the truck yet. Well, it's got a motor in it. 90%. Yeah, that's good enough. We'll just run it over. There we go. Now we got some lights on. See what we got here. 111.40, I think is what that said. Yep, 111,040. But another thing that I got to keep in mind too, with uh, you know money to be able to buy new equipment, is you know if I get a new combine, a new planter, that means that I can take you know the you know this combine and its headers those will go to the dealership and you know get sold directly so that'll you know bring a fair amount of money because like right now if we sold sold this we'd get 29 117 24 5 and 25 5 so I mean we'd get a pretty fair amount of money right there Oh, and I had that truck way too close. Shoot, let's jump in it and back it up a little bit. There we go. I wouldn't be able to sneak by it. But, um, yeah, so, I mean, we'll probably be able to make a couple hundred thousand off of, uh, you know, selling this equipment to the dealership directly versus just selling it in the store menu. So I mean that'll help bring in a little bit too. bring this back up here and we can continue forage wagoning back at it Say we are picking stuff up, right? <laughs> Grab this as we turn around. Kick this up a little bit. Two is set at 46, so let's try and get 40. If at all possible.
Now we're picking up the pace a little bit. Twelve mile an hour. Pretty good to me. It'll definitely be nice once uh, this is done and we can just focus on grain cart I mean I could now and just leave this till after harvest but I, mean, I guess I'd rather take care of it now and have the money now of course basically anything that we're making off of this we're paying on our hired worker we've already paid forty four hundred dollars to him uh, we've paid four hundred and six in livestock 571 vehicle running costs. I'm not sure if that's like fuel. Uh, we've made 1,780. I think, I think that's from this. That or the other. But yeah, we spent $4,445 on hired worker. S earned 2,166 on something else. We're in the red, $1,400. Almost $1,500. So that's pretty good. You know, nice. Okay, so we'll fill this. Jump over to the grain cart. Unload the combine again. Unload this, and that'll probably be about the video. <clears throat> And I'll just take like a momentary pause to start some videos exporting, you know, this one and yesterday's, and then get started on uh, some more video for uh, the next few days. Oh, we're going to be so close to the end of this, it's going to be so annoying. Yeah, that's retarded. Alrighty. Just in time, too. Alright, so I guess we're just going to have enough time to get the combine unloaded. Ugh. Well, that's if I was being, like, exactly accurate with 30 minutes. on through the combine. There we go. Let's grab a screenshot, shall we? Delete that first one I took. I guess kind of a little bit, a uh, little bit farther away than I wanted to be. We're just gonna keep unloading until this thing's full, which is not gonna take a whole lot. Well, yeah, it is actually. So we'll just unload it. Must be a hole there or something, or a dip. So alrighty guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.